Hello everyone. So nice to see you in this weird way again. Um, <clears throat> I just want to thank everyone for all the good wishes you sent me. I have survived whatever I had caught and uh, I am much better now. We've managed to keep on celebrating. Uh, we've celebrated Divine Liturgy this morning and I've remembered everyone, commemorated everyone. And uh, I also want to thank all of you who've written to encourage me to keep on filming. As you can see, I'm doing it, even when I'm not at my best in terms of health. I do want to continue and do this. Um, I want to keep this brief because I'm outside, and I'm outside for a reason. Uh, <clears throat> some of the closest friends of the monastery have written to say that they are missing the island and missing the photographs and uh, we are worried about whether or not we'll be able to run our usual pilgrimages so they've asked me to record uh, things outside and here i am doing what you need me to do and uh, hopefully that will bring a bit of a smile and it will remind you how beautiful the world is look at this gorse here look how spiky it is see but then look how pretty the little flowers are and uh, <clears throat> we actually use gorse to create the crown for Holy Friday. Anyway, I said I would keep this short. <sighs> Today is the Sunday of St. John of the Ladder. And this Sunday, as well as the Sunday that follows it, the Sunday of St. Mary of Egypt, in my very simplistic way of um, understanding this journey through Lent towards Pascha, these two Sundays simply put be before our eyes two examples of perfect humanity. Perfect not in the way in which Christ's humanity is perfect, but perfect through repentance, perfect through what we can do, all of us, in order for our humanity to become perfect as well. St. John, who lived in Sinai for many years, decades actually, as a hermit, and then uh, in the monastery of St. Catherine, <coughs> which was the monastery of the burning bush originally, is an example of an ascetic, somebody who's uh, struggled all his life and reached perfection following this path. And then St. Mary of Egypt is someone whose repentance and love of God was so strong that all her past sins were just melted, just drowned into that sea of newfound love of Christ. All this land, all land is, for me at least, again in my very simplistic understanding, is a hunt. We are hunting for who we are, who we truly are, our own humanity. There is that first gospel which we read on the Sunday of Orthodoxy, the Sunday of the Holy Icons, where Nathanael recognizes Christ because Christ recognizes Nathanael. And it is this mutual recognition, um, us being able to discern and recognize God in the world, in our neighbor, regardless of who that neighbor or how that neighbor is, and Christ recognizing in us his own image. It's in this mutual recognition of who we are and who our Creator is that the secret, the aim, the purpose of Lent really is. I pray to St. John and I pray to St. Mary uh, because most of us, well, we can't really follow either of those paths because we are just too weak. We don't have the heart to love as much as St. Mary and we don't have the will to struggle as much as St. John of the Ladder. But somewhere there in between, a mix between what both of them did, a bit of repentance and a bit of love and a bit of struggle and then patience, 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 as Elder Cleopa of Romania used to say, patience, 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 and hope, hope, hope. Between these two, we have a pretty good chance of being saved. Not because we're doing something 
right or because we've done enough to buy our salvation, but because God loves us and He craves to save us. May God bless you all. I hope you all keeping safe and sound. Do remember me and do remember the monastery in your prayers. Everybody, everywhere needs prayer these days. And remember what I told you initially. Um, there is hope in everything and there is no reason to despair. We've got one another and Christ has got all of us. It's still Lent. Don't forget that. We're still heading to the crucifixion and beyond the crucifixion there is the resurrection. May God bless you beyond your hopes and through your prayers. May he bless me and the monastery as well.